You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. On the virus. Serious XM. Is that Marion Barry? Barry's here? Bring him in. Oh, hilarious. Oh. Get him in here, Jimmy. Get him yeah, in here. Marion Barry. It's right outside. Former Who's governor of Washington, D.C. got busted smoking crack, came back and won again. Right, didn't he? Did he come he'll back be the again? Mayor. Yeah, he did. Become the mayor oh, again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the biggest comebacks ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got caught smoking crack. Oh, and the, the best oh, thing was when they were interviewing people, like in D.C., go, everybody smoke a little crack now and then. Who don't smoke a little crack? And most of the population agree with that. all these people, like, what do you think about Marion Barry coming back into office? Well, I mean, what's the big deal? Yeah. Most of the population <laughs> agree. They're like, sure, we do. What, why not? Well, why I'm not a little? Trying to get him in here. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get him in here a couple minutes. There's, there's, there's a bunch of dudes next door that are cock blocking. That is shaking his head now. He's shaking yeah. his head now. Yeah. Here he is, the mayor. Mr. Marion Barry. Mr. Marion Barry. Give him a microphone. Give him a microphone right now. Mike. Hello, sir. Yeah. Okay. Robin, we'll be nice. We'll be nice. We just nice wanted to guy. say hi to Mary. How many are in here? One, uh, two, three, four. Yeah, we got a lot of people yeah, in here. Gang up on me, man. No, 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 no. You are totally <laughs> respectful. Nah. No ganging no, up. No, 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 sir. Thank you. You're actually you gotta... uh, a story, uh, uh, an inspirational story to a lot of people because things went bad at one point and then all of a sudden you, you came back and, and you, you, you got what you got redemption. It's, it's, it's a pretty well, inspirational that's story. That's why this movie is so important because most of the media outside of Washington, D.C., most of the people outside of Washington, D.C., only know me through 15 seconds. Uh, news clips or 30 second news clips or some negative article in the newspaper. They don't know about my 50 years of service and 35 years of political life in Washington and being very successful helping a lot of people. So that's why that's important. I was walking by and heard y'all say something about being popped for smoking crack. You know, put that in context. The FBI spent 25 to 40 million dollars trying to entrap me. They couldn't find anything financial on me because I don't dip into the till. They used that, that situation, set it up, and we don't know what was in that pipe because the jury didn't convict me of anything at the, at the Vista. And so that crack story started with that, but there's been no evidence that I don't, we don't know what was in it. I mean, I was up there for some other reason, quite frankly. What did you think was in it when you were smoking it? I didn't smoke it. Oh, okay. I took one drag on it. Oh, okay. So, Do you but, feel that they were trying to railroad you because they didn't like politically what you were doing? They like economically and giving money to mm. African Americans and you know qualified contractors and and, and putting the parts about this size, and we take it forty seven percent of it out, which I got to, and uh, they. Uh, don't like the money to be taken. It is pretty amazing that they can do that, that, that they can go after you like that and spend so much money to try to prosecute you. Well, I'm used to it. They're pulling you out. We're pulling you out. But what are you promoting? We got a huge audience. What are you promoting? HBO on Monday, 9 p.m. Nice Guys. 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 Nice Guys.
Also, pretty sure we're, though we're going to get in trouble for having Marion Barry. I, I invited him. Why would we get in trouble? Get in trouble. For what? Because they have a weird policy. We can't like grab other people's guests. Can't just guests. grab guests. I just when asked walking them. Walking I asked, oh, what how the stupid fuck? is that? I, I saw the mayor of DC to... and what? I asked him if he wanted to come on. I, I don't know what he's doing. And you know what? He handled himself admirably. And all the shows can grab our guests. We don't give a shit. If someone's walking by, how do we not try to get him? on I said he outsmarted the FBI and got reelected after that scandal. It's pretty amazing how much money they spent. And Anthony and. Jimmy are going to throw him? Yeah. But the guy walked in here all smooth and shit. No problem. <laughs> Nobody know what it is in They're that not going to throw him. He was a cool cat. We got to get that FBI sound clip. Get him. that sound clip and use it ad nauseum. Nobody knows what was in that pipe. In that pipe? <laughs> just yeah. nobody, nobody knows what was in that pipe. <laughs> I, I didn't smoke know. it. I just took a drag. I took a drag. Oh. I didn't smoke it. Excellent. I took a drag. I actually am surprised. I asked, I that was awesome. That's just that alone great. was worth having a drink He was the coolest guy ever. I've never heard of the bloke and I love him. I'm surprised. I invited him in and then I came back in. I didn't think he was going to come in, and then a minute later, they opened the door and he walked There's in. something awesome about black politicians that get busted doing scandalous shit and oh, then yeah. come back. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, know? you know, it was great. When he came in, the lady who was trying to drag him away, yeah. she just looked in the bin at my vomit at one stage and just shook her head. <laughs> 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 Clearly, he was a big fan of the show. I think that's why he came. <laughs> yeah, that's how, it is. how many of you the Opies? If he wasn't how before, many of the Anthony's. Yeah, how many y'all? How many the Opies? We treated him very Opies. nicely. Nobody fucked him. Yeah, yeah he, we he was respectful. checking the clock to see if the twelve was a big black hole. <laughs> I, almost, I almost didn't ask him. I almost didn't ask him what he thought was in that pipe, but I had to. You had, had to. to. That's not to. a bad I, question. I, I was actually going to jump on that when he stopped talking, and you, thank God, took the reins. I didn't want. I saw that guy pulling on him. Like you got, you can't get away. You I gotta. Know. I gotta. If I, and I knew as a politician, if you ask him, he has to say something. Yeah. Yes. And he brought up the yeah. crack. Yeah. He said, "I heard somebody talking Nobody about knows. crack." Yeah. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody knows who's, who's in that pipe. pipe. <laughs> All they saw was me swung at a pipe. Nobody knows who's in that pipe. How, how much it. do you I love him now? Goodness. Goodness. How much do you love Mary love Barry him. now? Love him. <laughs> I didn't take drag. I took a puff. I want to get him high on DMT now. Would anyone have brought up the crack if he didn't bring it up? Who would have had that? You have to. You have to say. Well, what do you? I started with, and again, not all about me, but about the, you you fell and then you ever dead. It's like, what well, we all know what he fell from. So well, he brought yeah. it up yeah. because we Jim. were talking about it and he heard it in the monitor in the hallway. And he just came in to defend himself. I he couldn't know, help it. See? He's kind of like the Muhammad Ali of black politics. You know, they, yeah, they framed back. him. They spent all this money framing him, Is getting him it? out of politics, but he came back. The champ. He really did come back. It's amazing. He got reelected. It's not amazing. Look at its constituency. Am I am you crack now and then? I, I, no, no, no. <laughs> so, I so understand that. that how long ago was this? How long ago was this guy really yeah, like that? Oh, it was a long right, time ago. He seems like a fairly old man. <laughs> Isn't there a recent Marion Barry, 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 Barry story? Wasn't Stand he in the park recently? Yeah. Yes. What the fuck is he woman. doing? Stalking a woman or yeah. something? We didn't have enough time though. They would pull. I've, the Apollo <laughs> doesn't get people off stage as aggressively <laughs> as they were trying to get him out. Holy <laughs> shit! Did you hear that little siren go off? <laughs> the was, guy in a white suit was going to come on that any was minute. Like an what? extrication from a car you wreck know, or something. What, what they didn't see at home was we were having a tug of war with Mary and Barry. Yeah. 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 We were trying to keep him in there. His handlers right away were pulling him away. But we didn't fuck with him at all. It's like what are they going to say? We asked him a couple legit questions. He has a bigger audience. Here, look. I'm sure Shade is a great audience, but this is the biggest audience he's going to get on this he platform. Like well, I heard about that Shade that the hype is real. Yes, 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 the hype is real. That's what I hear. So, yeah. so, so, he looked like a guy in a zombie movie that gets too close to the window and all the arms <laughs> come in <laughs> <laughs> and pull him out. They fucking grabbed him. Barry. <laughs> they grabbed him. Must eat Barry. <laughs> Who's His that, handlers the brought Detroit up the jaws guy? of life. Yeah, yeah, to get the door <laughs> yeah. open with the well, jaws of life. And, <laughs> and you see the discussion outside the office? Uh, the office, uh -oh. Jesus. Uh -oh. Yeah, outside the studio, not good. I don't do it. Who's they talking, get mad when we do that, you? but we Dude, can't help ourselves. Yeah. Mayor of DC is trying to give the best door. radio yeah, possible every know? fucking Listen, day. Blame me, man. Yeah, right. I invited the guy. No, I invited him, and then I came back in the studio. A minute later, he came in. You Nobody's... heard it. Jim Norton invited him. And nobody fucking, but nobody grabbed him and threw a mic in his face. Hell I not. was outside. I said, Mr. Mayor, we're the biggest audience you're going to get today. Do you want to come in? And I didn't think he was going to come because the woman goes, and she, the, the woman he was with starts whispering to him. So I'm like, oh, okay, she's going to uh, tell him no. So the, I got my picture. And then a fucking minute later, he walks in the door. Yeah. The fact is, if Rogan didn't mention crack, he never would have came in. Yeah, I think that's what got him in. Maybe, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what? Maybe maybe so we have Joe Rogan to thank. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. You're I got welcome. That's what I'm here for. So whenever a celebrity walks by, yeah. just bitch about him and say, <laughs> I'm here to sniff Jim Jeffries' throw up.
I'm here to sniff his loads. I should have asked if Mary Barry wanted some. Oh, Dude, oh, 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 good lord. By the way, no one knows what's in Jim Norton's belly how, button. How great is this show, though? We go from sniffing what fucking Norton had in his belly button to Mary and <laughs> Barry. Barry, and Barry. Within five minutes. The virus. Serious XM. This is.